Hey guys, this is Heyman from Edureka. Today's session is going to be on AWS certifications. So why is a certification important? Let's shed a light on that. So say you apply for a company and you're looking for a job change, right? And the other candidate which is competing with you has the same experience as you. And now how will a company like me, so if I'm a company, how will I decide that you are better than him or he is better than you? So if any one of you is certified, I will give more priority to that person. And that is the reason certifications are important. But certifications are important just for the stage one, that is for getting screened, right? They don't guarantee you a job. Just because you're certified, that does not mean you'll end up with a job in the AWS sector. You have to have hands-on experience as well. Now why am I saying this is because in my experience I've seen a lot of people who have the certification but they hardly know anything about the subject, right? So if you don't have the hands-on exposure, it is actually your certification is a waste because no company will hire you. Because the only reason they hire certified people is because they think, they, okay, so this guy knows a lot about this subject. And when we talk about AWS, it is all about implementing. It is all about hands-on, right? So if you have not practiced hands-on and you have the certification, you might not get a job. Finding a job will become very difficult for you, right? So it is very important to actually know what you're studying rather than just studying it for the sake of passing. Having said that, uh, let's move ahead and see what certifications are actually offered by AWS. So AWS basically offers you five kind of certifications under which three are in the associate level and two are in the professional level, right? So the certifications have actually been divided into domains. So you have the architecting domain, you have the developing domain, and you have the operations domain. The most famous uh, certification or the most sought after certification out of all these certifications is the solution architect certification, right? Now, I've seen a lot of people without doing any research, just because the other person is doing a solution architect certification, they also get in line and, and start preparing for that. But you have to understand your expertise, right? So if you're a person who is from a development background, okay, so you might, why not apply for the certified developer certification? If you're a person who has been handling machines, who is a Linux administrator or something like that, why not apply for the AWS certified SysOps administrator certification, right? So it is very important to choose the right certification because that is how your career will progress. And that is, and these certifications will actually give you a direction in your career. Moving on, let's discuss each of these certifications in brief. So talking about the first certification, it is the AWS certified solutions architect. So basically in this certifications, your job will be to create highly available and cost efficient systems or architectures and then ensuring that they are the most cost efficient, right? The second certification that is the certified developer certification is for people who are from a development background, right? So if you are from a developer background, you might or you should apply for this certification and because it tests you more in terms of the programming knowledge, that does not mean that you won't be tested on AWS. You will be tested on AWS, but with the programming also in mind, right? The next certification is a SysOps Administrator certification. So this basically certification is for people who are from an administration background, right? So if you're a Linux admin and you have been working since two, three years in the administration department, it makes sense for you to actually go for this certification. Now talking about the roles or the differences in the jobs that these three certifications are, let's discuss that. So on the top level you have the certified solutions architect uh, which actually get into interaction with the customer and understand their needs, right? Once you understand their needs, you actually come up with an architecture that is in line with the requirements that they are put through, right? And this is what the Certified Solutions Architect is all about. You might or might not implement that architecture because it is actually the job of the SysOps Administrator. But usually when I see people, they actually implement it as well, right? 
So this is about this certification. Then you have the certified developer certification. So this certification is actually for people or for developers who will be making their application on the AWS infrastructure, right? So solutions architect provides the developers with the infrastructure and developers work on that infrastructure and make applications. The third certification is about the sysops administrator. So this guy actually is responsible for maintaining the servers once they are made, right? So once solution architect has implemented whatever architecture is required, it is the job of the sysops administrator to ensure that everything is running fine. This is the role of the sysops administrator and these certifications are the associate level certifications. If you want to go to the next level of certifications, the next level certifications are actually called the professional certifications, right? Now the professional certifications can only be applied when you have a prior experience in the associate certification. For example, if you are a person who wants to become a professional certified in the solution architect role, you should actually be a associate certified in the solution architect role before. Similarly, if you are looking for going on to the next level, if you are a developer certified person or you are, or you are a sysops certified person and you are looking on to go to the professional certification, you will actually become the DevOps engineer professional, right? So for DevOps engineer professional, the only two requirements are that you should already be solution architect associate certified person or you should become sysops administrator certified person. So these are actually the certifications which are offered by AWS. Like moving on now, how will you prepare or how will you get certified? We now know what all certifications are offered by AWS, but how do you get certified? So for getting certified, you actually have to pass an exam which is conducted by AWS, right? Now, how can you actually register for that exam is like this. When you click here, you will reach the screen, right? And over here you have this option on which says schedule an exam, right? So once you click on this, you can actually schedule a preferred date for you and you can book a slot for your exam. So this is how you can actually apply for that exam. Now let's talk about a little more about the examination. So the, your exam, your associate level exam will be for 150 US dollars. And if you want practice exams for uh, by AWS actually, so for them the fees is 20 US dollars, right? Similarly for all the associate certifications, the fees is around 150 US dollars and for the practice exam it's 20 US dollars, right? Now the next question which comes to your mind is what to study exactly for passing this exam, right? So for that AWS has made your life a lot easier because AWS has a lot of services guys. But then you should know which service to study exactly for a particular exam, right? So, and that actually has been provided by AWS as well. Let's talk about one certification as of now. Let's talk about the Certified Solutions Architect Associate Certification. So this is the exam guide for this certification, guys. So basically, they've divided the exam under four domains, right? You have designing highly scalable cost-efficient domain, you have implementation domain, data security domain, and troubleshooting domain. And they were also divided uh, these domains in percentages. Like if you talk about the troubleshooting domain, the whole exam will have only 10% of questions which are related to troubleshooting. If you talk about the highly available cost efficient domain, the whole of 60% of your exam will actually be based on this domain. Now these are domains. Now how will you or what to learn in these domains is actually mentioned further. So under the domain one, you have these many topics that you should be prepared for while you are preparing for your AWS exam. Similarly, for the implementation domain, you have these many topics. For data security, you have these many topics. And in the end, for disaster recovery, you have these many topics, right? So your study should actually be very focused. You should not study everything. Be smart study what is important and that is the reason because most of you guys are working right and it becomes very difficult for you guys to actually take out time for these AWS exams and that is the reason there are a lot of online trainers which are out there or online companies e-learning companies 
which provide you with a course which is suitable for passing your certifications along with that they also offer you hands-on practice wherein they might give you an environment where you can practice all you want for that particular service how to prepare for this certification so like I said uh, you actually have to be very focused on what to study right moving on let's see how you can actually practice whatever you're learning so AWS has this amazing free tier guys so under the free tier you get 750 hours of free usage for your AWS account right you have some services which are there under the free tier so let me quickly show you guys uh, what all services are covered under the free tier so the free tier is actually divided between two parts one is called the non-expiring free tier and the other one is the introductory free tier so the non-expiring free tier is where you get all these services for free for the whole of your lifetime until a certain threshold right if you talk about the introductory free tier so these services are free for the first year and for every month you get 750 hours of free usage of each of these services right for the first whole year now like i said you have to have hands-on experience right so this is where AWS has been very generous and has actually given you this opportunity so that you can actually practice a lot on AWS using the free tier. So this is the way you prepare guys. Uh, the other thing is like I told you guys there are a lot of e-learning companies which are out there that provide you with a structured training right. Now this is typically how a structured training or a syllabus for your AWS exam would actually look like. So this actually is for a solutions architect exam. So our company offers courses for the AWS certifications and this structured training is actually for your AWS solution architect role. Now this training or this curriculum has actually been prepared based on the exam guide which has been given by the AWS right so similarly so if you don't have the time to actually make your curriculum or understand what all has to be studied why not go for a course wherein you'll have a certified instructor who will share his experience and teach you that how you can prepare for this certification so guys this brings us to the end of our today's session so we have discussed all the certifications I've told you guys what all exams are there how you can prepare for those exams and this is it guys so remember the part where I told you that don't prepare for these certifications just for the sake of preparing them you have to be very thorough with all these services which are there in AWS which are relevant to your role in the certifications and if you actually prepare very well for any of the certifications that you want to master you will definitely end up with a job because if you see the job trends which are there for AWS they are actually rocketing right and if you have a very good knowledge in your subject you can easily get a job so on that note let's finish off today's session so thank you guys for attending today's session I hope you learned something new today I hope it made your doubts clear when it comes to certifications so any kind of questions that you have you can always email me it is there in your LMS and you can always reach out to our support team they might be able to help you out in whatever query you have all right so okay guys so on that note I'll be taking a leave for you guys thank you for attending today's session have a good day ahead goodbye